Hi, it is the Human Operating System Time. This channel is for education and technology only. Since I have shared on how to develop the basic body mechanics of Wing Chun with this uh, OIO NASA Space Technology, I have received many messages from our Wing Chun friends worldwide. And I can sum the questions from our Wing Chun friends into two questions and that's what I like to share with you guys today the first question is do I concern about there will be somebody as usual stealing my ideas and what I'm sharing here or using the name the platform 2020 just to exploit it to make some money out of it and so forth what I can share with you is that I have no concern on that because in this channel what I'm sharing is an education platform 2020 is an education system which fuels the ancient Wing Chun and today's sport science so it is not a, a business or it is not a product so people can take things here and there or try to exploit it but the bottom line is the platform 2020 educations in both the big picture and details is written in my four books which is in the uh, Amazon everybody can get access to it in a very affordable price so it is an education for the public the four textbooks which I wrote is in Amazon it is a textbook for the Wing Chun 2020 platform so uh, it is an education so again if you want to make an analogy the four books I wrote is like in this Silicon Valley we patent the invention so we have the proof of the, the, the pattern so people will know what is this from what is this about and uh, that is how it is one cannot get away from stealing something because there's always a pattern there and not to mention that this is for education because we do need an education to do things better more effective, more efficient and uh, take care of much more things than what happened in Wing Chun in past 60 years notice that I'm not saying that whoever in the past 60 years is wrong I'm saying that today we can be more effective, more efficient and more comprehensive based on the ancient Wing Chun and today's sports science and thus one be able to get a result in weeks not in a lifetime guessing in whole, not in partial so hopefully this explains to you or responds to you what the first type of questions I was asked the second is we have friends worldwide asking me on the OIO, the space technology tools I'm using where to get it, how to get it well, in the United States, people can get it simple just go to the website but outside U US 
I don't know. And also that is a, a price issue. It is not very uh, affordable to need to buy tools for many of our Wing Chun friends around the world. So I have a solution, a really low cost solution that everybody be able to, to use it. Okay. However, this solution will have uh, not as much uh, 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 function as the OYO. However, this solution will give you the very basic core that it will help you to develop. And that solution is using the resistance band. Okay, using this resistance band, we can be like using the OIO tracking, monitoring, developing our body mechanics, the basic, the right, the core of it. So, let me show you how this is a resistance band everybody can get it really low low cost right and it comes with different type of resistance so one can choose the proper uh, resistance which is suitable for one's body okay now let's do it in the sun punch the Wing Chun sun punch using the Wing Chun Sun Punch to develop this body, to, to develop this body mechanics, to, uh, to, to, to track, to monitor ourselves. So what we want to do is, we stand in like the usual EG Kamehameha, which I have shared a few weeks ago in this channel. You do a Sun Punch, okay? Sun Punch, with this, with this uh, band placing this way, okay, and then you can choose your, your, your distance of the punch, okay. Now, so the first thing what we want to do is to sense, to aware of our shoulder, shoulder blade, and our arm. How the left shoulder blade, so and our shoulder support the right shoulder blade or shoulder or how the right side of the shoulder and shoulder blade support the left side and that is you use this this band this band notice that I'm holding the band this way okay this way okay so you can see that okay no other way okay now so just using the shoulder blade, shoulder and arm really lightly, you don't want to use a lot of force. With one arm strike up slowly, gradually slowly strike up, the other arm pull back. Okay? Strike up, pull back. Okay? So you do this at this instant. For example, when I strike out with the right fist, my left is coming back. At that time, feel your shoulder blade. Feel your shoulder blade. Are uh, they support each other? Meaning that when I strike out with my right fist, my shoulder blade going that way, and my left fist pull back, my left shoulder blade is going into my body into the direction of the right shoulder blade. Okay, so that is about shoulder blade, shoulder and your arm. And also we want to be watch out, be careful on this. Remember that the 1850s uh, Wing Chun have this next slide, warm move. It is like 
the, the joint and by joint is moving this way so if you look at this the strike out one is this way okay while the one which is pulled back is this way so it is the opposite way and this way okay so that is the first part the shoulder, shoulder blade and the arm now you want to get flown you don't want anything stuck in your in your shoulder blade or your uh, your, your shoulder or any joint when you do this the feeling the experience of the feeling what do I mean by stuck is if I hold on to this side and then I just do this with this resistant band you can feel that I am just using one side of my shoulder and shoulder blade and it's pulling muscle there we don't want that we want it feel really light there because it is aiding each other left and right and left right and left is aiding each other and every joint is really smooth aiding each other and uh, it doesn't have any particular joint which is uh, have to use brute force that I define brute force as you just have to use more force so when you do this you can feel that the entire thing is really balanced in the way how to use the strength okay so that's top now after you can do that guess what we we want to turn our body the core now we add in the core in the core is at in now right so the if I do the first one is like this my core is not moving much it look moving slightly because uh, the, the, the focus on the shoulder blade shoulder and arm now when it add in the core where you move your core more twisting your core more that is adding up that thing the, 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 uh, the, the core with your hip okay now once you've flown at that there's nothing jammed here nothing stuck nothing jammed nothing used more force everything is going flown but if you're able to flow you want to add in your feet okay so that's the third part and of course when you add in your feet your weight is changing your weight distributions in both legs is changing that is how your momentum is is uh, developed by you changing your uh, your body weight from one to the other and then uh, you are talking the entire body okay so if you can do that you know that every strike you go up is the entire body go you generate the impulse uh, sorry you generate the momentum with your feet and your core and then you deliver it to your fist okay so there are three parts the shoulder, shoulder blade, arm first part, the core, the second part the third part is your leg and your body weight so in the third part for sure for those of you have uh, followed me when you step in that here there is a reaction force coming up action force going down there's a reaction force coming up you use that reaction force to strike up so it is very efficient and effective of striking 
the entire body go with the body weight momentum to create that impulse okay however the most important thing is that you have to condition your body not brute forcing this body okay after that after you are good in this you can actually check my video on the 2C state where you sing the breathing to the lower abs breathing and you synchronize that with this body okay so you have four set there the shoulder blade to the to the fist the core at in the second step the third step your legs your handling of body weight or momentum generations at in and then the fourth is you synchronize the lower abs breathing in so that is four step there and if you do that the body will be dynamic at every uh, part of your body you have awareness of it and your breathing will be smooth you will no longer suffocate okay so if you, if you do that say 15 minutes a day don't do fast don't strike fast just just know your body and gradually add up your momentum handling and so forth step by step like i share with you for these four steps if you do about 15 minutes a day you do it one week and see how is that different compared with you clamping your knee doing your sun punch this way without knowing this body and without knowing the breathing and without knowing this you see my my uh my my joints there this joint this going upward like that when this is come back snake slide right so that is the basic one can do with a really inexpensive <coughs> resistant band and even for those of our Wing Chun friend who is more than 40 years old, 60 years old, this can be fitness. It doesn't have to be fast. It just has to be flown. Flow with it. The body is flow with it. Okay. So, say in the sparring, when one get the arm up like that, you know that the entire four step just now is going to go. The body know how to handle itself. It is no longer I practice this way where I have no awareness of down there, do not know how to generate this momentum. Left and right, so the blade have no awareness but just keep in punching. The breathing is not synchronized with it. It's not that stuff. Also, it's not that Tai Chi stuff like a Sing Chi and so forth, so forth. Where one have no idea on this four element which I share with you. With these four elements, you can play because the entire body become alive. That is the name of the game. Okay. So if one know this like in the uh, discussions a week ago with many Wing Chun friends around the world once one go through it this fluent with it one practically can read other people to see is he using his shoulder only is he using his shoulder blade how is your core stability your handling how is the momentum handling with the feet and how is the breathing? One can scan you. Okay? So the opponent, one scan him. How is the body handling? And for those who do demonstrations, like uh, standing there, I can take uh, the force down to the ground. 
you can scan them though. You can see whether this is this guy is practiced just for demonstrations or it be able to be really fluent, really fluent in the real life. And those guys who have this four development I just shared, you know it can handle in different angles and be really fluent and flow. Because you know your body, you know the breathing. Okay. So this is what I like to share with you on this development. And anybody can do it and it can it is good for fitness too because this is not something brutal or or, or something uh, inconsiderate of the body. This type of stuff is gradually you develop it up. Okay. And so if you want to know about details on this and all this technical details, you can read my book, like for, it, for instance, the, uh, the uh, Wing Chun Matrix, where you talk about the 2C state of the breathing and the four biomechanics or momentum handles, the four parts of the body, where when you do this, you're going to use that. And then on the uh, six core element, and then on the, like the, in the Wing Chun Inceptions, where the impulse momentum and the, the body, the heart rate, those kind of stuff. So, so with just a simple what I share with you today, there are a lot of details in that four books. So, in order to master a thing, one needs to know all those details and be able to have a method like just now I show you the four steps to develop the body. Okay, this is technical stuff. So this is Wing Chun 2020. This is real internal because internal is knowing ourselves, knowing our six core element, how to use it. And if you read the Wing Chun Inception, you can see that all this thing, how it's synchronized together. So again, I'm presenting an education, uh, an education for all Wing Chuners who want to move forward to the next era or next paradigm. And so that uh, this platform 2020 actually differentiate Wing Chun from all other arts because it ought to. Wing Chun has its characteristics, uniqueness. And it's, it's uh, Wing Chun's in-depth uh, knowledge. And this also set a standard that uh, what type of technical one need to be able to handle before one can get to the next level or one be able to face a situations.